They say, if you see something, say something. And that's how I feel about this situation right here. I saw something that made me uncomfortable, and we need to talk about it. So it turns out Sam Asghari, Britney Spears' fiance, was once on her payroll as a chef, but he's not in it for the money. Trust me, guys, I want Britney to be free and to be happy, but this is a red flag. Britney admitted to a friend that her fiance Sam was once on her payroll as a chef. She's currently 40 years old and he's only 27 and they've been together for about four years. Honestly, I'm trying to look at the bright side of everything and to think positively because this is very concerning, but I was trying to think like maybe Brittany hired Sam as her chef because she was in a conservatorship. There were a lot of rules. Maybe this was the only way they could spend time together and see each other if he was employed through her estate. But we actually got a little clue, a little hint last year when an accounting document came out and revealed that she did have this chef. The reason why we got a hold of this document was because Brittany was in court with her father and they were going through the accounting and all the estate expenses. At first, we were presented with a redacted version of this filing where all of the names are blocked out. But as you guys can see, she had a chef who was getting paid about $100,000 a year, $500 a day, and working five days a week. The unredacted version was leaked last year. And as you can see, Sam Asghari is working as her chef which we thought he was like a fitness god, like a trainer. Now he's a chef, I guess. And what I found interesting was that um, it looks like he also gets a higher rate during the holidays. Like it says, during the holidays, the daily rates are higher. I find that interesting because it makes sense for a normal chef, but like if you're dating the person, like I feel like that one line right there isn't really necessary because why would he be getting more if he's like literally like in love with her? Like, aren't they just spending the holidays together anyways? So this whole rumor that Sam was working as Britney's chef has been going on for some time. Last year, fans were speculating that Sam was employed by Britney as her cook and supposedly Britney has been open about this situation and insists that it's no longer going on. So I guess Sam was fired as her chef. So an insider told The Sun that Britney told a friend that she used to pay Sam a salary as her chef, but she doesn't employ him anymore. <sighs> Some fans have this impression that Sam is in it for the money, but Britney said it's not like that at all. And I would I would hope it's not like that, but I'm still interested in like why was he employed and when was he like let go as the employee? But this insider insists that Britney sees Sam as the one, and she's incredibly proud of how far he has come since he's come to America as an immigrant from Iran. The source continued that Britney rejected any claim that Sam is just another contract that she has gotten herself into or taking advantage of her to cash checks, despite having worked for her before, which I think think is a major red flag. Unless this is some romantic way that they got around the conservatorship to spend time together, I don't really understand why Sam would ever be employed through this estate because Jamie Spears, Britney's father, is the one who's managing this estate. And if Britney did hire him as her chef, then why would she like let go of him as an employee? Like now that she's free and she's got her estate, if she wants to employ him and give him a salary, then why would would she stop it as soon as she gets control again? It really does seem like they use this as either a way for Sam to be in the home and to be around Britney, or like if Sam is not who we believe he is, then is he getting like paid off by the state? Like, or was he getting paid off as a state? Like, what's up here? But Britney has raved about Sam's cooking before, so maybe he is just a really good chef and she desired to hire him for that. She claims that he's the best chef in the world. And on August 3rd, I believe. 2019 she posted a video of her and sam in her kitchen and he's cooking up for her i can't believe i wake up every morning to this man <laughs> for me yes. okay not only is my boyfriend 
really hot. He's probably like the best chef in the world. And he's showing off right now. Just check this out. Probably. Honestly, the food did look pretty good there. And Brittany seems happy. And she said, you know, not only is my boyfriend really hot, he's probably like the best chef in the world. At this point, they would have been dating for almost three years and he would have been 25 years old. And I'm assuming so then this was like, what, 2019, maybe 2018, probably 2019. Is this when he was hired as her chef? Like, I wonder when he started on the payroll. Maybe Sam is a world-class chef because he did go on to the doctor's show, I believe, and he did a cooking segment. Take a look. Yeah, Brittany gushing over your cooking, so you have something for us today. Absolutely, let me get but, ready. All right, <laughs> the chef is getting but ready. Sam, I mean, cooking for your gal. <laughs> It works, doesn't it? Okay, he definitely planned that whole jacket moment, but honestly, I'm here for it. He's putting on a show. I mean, he is Britney Spears' fiance, and he goes on to share that he's actually done a lot of cooking in his past. Um, believe it or not, guys, I was actually a cook uh, back in high school. That was my job. I used to cook almost 300 meals a day. A lot mm. of it was steak. Wow. So that's why I love steak. It works, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah, uh, uh, gentlemen, mm. if you... If you want some uh, props, definitely cook for your girl. Okay, Sam. I, okay, I get the advice because, like, yes, every woman would love for their man to go and cook them a meal. But the men don't get paid for it like you do. Like, $500 a day, like, that's a pretty penny. So I hope they have, like, a good explanation for this. Um, I did see in this segment he cooked a steak, which we love steak, but with peaches, and I've never seen this before. I don't know if it's something, maybe you guys have heard this before. I don't even know if it really looks good in my opinion. Like, I don't usually associate like meat with peaches. I usually like, what are those little green things? Oh, the little green olivey things. Capers? Oh my God, I think they're called capers. <gasps> Those are what I like on my steak. I actually had to film this earlier because my microphone was off, so I'm refilming it again, and I couldn't think of the caper's word. And now I did. Oh, it came back to me. Anyways, check this out. If I put it on the side so it kind of like the juice comes out and gets into the steak, once you see the blood coming up to the steak, you can flip it over, you have it cooked, and I put the asparagus. So the juice of the asparagus, the vitamins, and uh, the minerals of the actual fruits, it goes into the steak. So it kind of gives the steak a little taste. Maybe the peaches would be good with the steak. Like, what do you guys think? Also, what do you think about this whole chef situation? Like, I would hope this whole, like, this whole scenario is how they got to, you know, hang out and spend time together. And it was their loophole in the conservatorship. But I just kind of have a bad feeling because... Jamie Spears was managing the state and the funds. He was writing Sam Mazgari's check every month to be Britney's employee. It just like something just doesn't feel right about that. And I just want Britney to live the, the most best life, the most wholesome life, the most, you know, honest and authentic. And I would really hope that Sam is there for the right reason. So here's my email. If you guys have any other video ideas for me, let's go ahead and open this PO box package item. When I was first filming this video, I actually wasn't in the mood to do the PO box package item. So I'm glad I didn't because I didn't have my microphone on, but this one is from um, designed by Lane. And let's go ahead and see what they sent. It looks like this is from Canada. Usually when it's from another country, it says like what's on it. It's like, it's interesting when I get like mail from other countries, there's like a little note on it that says like what is in there. I guess it's like you have to do that because of the rules and stuff. Um, oh, it looks like there is a letter right here. Sloan, I've been subscribed to your channel since you released that doc on Mary, Kate, and Ashley Olsen. And I saw your whole series with the Amanda Bynes saga. Thank you for including and showcasing of small businesses. For the past several years, I've been working as a clinical counselor, and I have now transitioned to art therapy. My graphic design company, Designed by Lake, creates custom coloring books for stress relief and relaxation. Here's a sample copy for you, um, as well as a sample notebook. Aw, the books are designed custom order and based on themes selected by clients. Clients. Oh, so if you like like cats or landscapes or portraits, then the book will be designed that way. My Instagram and Pinterest is designed by Lake. I will list that all below. Oh, thank you so much. That's so sweet. And I guess maybe your name is Lake. I love that. Um, let's go ahead and see what we're working with. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Okay, so right here it looks like oh, it says Sloan's notebook. It literally says my name on it. Oh, I love that. And it's got like some purple butterflies and stuff on it. Love little notebook moment. So sweet. Thank you. And then this is a stress and 
Last night I had anxiety. People like sometimes people will like sense that I have anxiety and they'll like say it to me and it makes it so much worse. Like I was out last night with my friends and they were like, oh, like you seem anxious. You just need to loosen up. And I'm like, I'm not even anxious right now. It's like making me more anxious. Like maybe I am a little bit, but I'm not like a lot, but they can like really tell. So maybe I need to color some into this book. So thank you so much. Um, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much. Like and go and check out their, um, their company below. I'm going to list everything and I'll see you guys soon. Bye friends. Bye.